Hey there, welcome back to my channel. First off, I wanna say sorry for the mess that you see. I don't have a set filming location yet because I just moved, so we're still settling in and unpacking. But today's video is gonna be a continuation of the Disney alphabet that I started about two, three years ago. We're doing J for Jack Skellington, and I thought it would be perfect to upload this before Halloween. I wish I could have shared so many more recipes with you all, but the move this month made it so difficult to film. <laughs> So please forgive me, but I do promise I will be uploading next month as well as my 12 days of Christmas. As always, everything you're gonna need will be in the description box down below. Now let's get started on this cake. We're gonna start with our cake. I am using my simple vanilla cake. I will have the recipe in the description box below. I dyed part of it black to kind of give it the white and black stripe like Jack Skeleton suit. Once it's done baking, I'm gonna be leveling it off since we're gonna flip it over and it needs a even surface. I also trim off any of these excess bakes that happened from having the little inserts in the tray that I use. I do use the Wilton Celebrations cake pan. And then I'm just gonna trim off the corners to shape out the J. I'm also going to be using my classic vanilla buttercream recipe. This is in the description box as well. Just give it a nice little crumb coat. It is a little uneven since it did bake the other way around. I do recommend if you have this pan to just bake it reverse instead of the way I did so that you can use the other side to decorate and not the one with the squares already in it. It made it a little difficult to even out the frosting, but since we're going to be adding more frosting on top, I didn't try to make this as thin or as nice as possible since it will be covered. And then I'm just scraping off all the excess that I have with this bench scraper and just evening out the corners, just making it as smooth as possible. And then in one piping bag, I have some white buttercream and another one I have some black. Here I am just piping off the shirt portion of his suit and then I'm gonna be doing the white and black stripes down below. I do recommend you do a thinner white stripe than the black one since it will look a little better and more. it'll be a little more similar to his suit. I accidentally did too much white, but I definitely recommend do more black than the white. What you can do is put one row down, make the black one double thick, put the white row and then the next black one, do it on top, kind of overlapping it, especially if you don't want to scrape your frosting after you've laid it on your cake. And then here I'm just marking off the collar and just keep adding those lines onto the cake. I did end up scraping mine because I wanted it to look a little more jagged like it does in, in all the artwork. As you can see here, his lines aren't perfect, so I wanted them to look a little messy, a little mashed together. So I just kind of scraped it off. I did make the mistake of adding more white on top again. I should have just left it how I scraped it originally because now I really dislike how that looks, but learn from my mistakes. And then to make the little bat bow tie he has, I put some candy melts in a little bag and just piped this out onto parchment paper with a design that was drawn on some parchment paper. You can always use a toothpick to kind of even out the design. I ended up using it to give the little pointy design onto this. And then I put some white candy melt in another bag and just added those little white accents that you can see. If you're quick enough, you can add this into the black as you've piped it out. Mine hardened really quickly, but I was happy with how it turned out. So then just get your cake. As you can see, mine has too much white, not enough black. Add the little bow tie on there. And done. Here's your J for Jack Skellington. I hope you enjoyed this video. It is a little rusty, I'm so sorry. I haven't really been filming the last two years, but I hope to get more content out to you soon. Thank you all who have been patient and who've been sticking around. I promise to make it all up to you soon. <laughs> if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more videos, hit the subscribe button as well. 
I do have over 200 recipes already on this channel, so feel free to go look at those. And until next time, stay sweet.